As a nutrition expert and mother who's totally devoted to providing great nutrition for her own kids, I want to give you some great lunchbox tips that I think will really help jack up the nutritional quality of what goes into that lunchbox and, this may be even more important, increase the chances that your kids will, will really eat it, right? The first tip or the first strategy is to involve your child. Involve your child at every step of the way. In the grocery store, have them select the foods uh, that you think are healthy that you want them to do. Uh, involve them in the preparation, cutting up the fruit, putting it in the bag. We know that the more your children directly engage and utilize all their senses as far as interacting with the food, smell, touch, taste, vision, the more apt they are to eat it. The second great tip is know that color and variety make us eat. This is true. The deeper, the richer the color in food and the more variety in food in front of us, the more likely we are to want to eat it. So how can you use this to your advantage? Think about it. What has lots of color? Fruits and vegetables. Are those good for your kids? Of course they are. So why not have a variety of fruits and vegetables in the lunchbox, meaning instead of just having, you know, some baby carrots, why not put a couple baby carrots, a few grape tomatoes, some broccoli florets in the little bag, right? Or for fruit, maybe you can have some oranges and some apple slices and maybe even throw in some grapes. So remember that, a great strategy. The third one is know that whole fruits, you know, if you, for example, put an apple in the lunchbox, right? Whole fruits or an orange in the lunchbox, whole fruits frequently end up in the trash can. Kids want things easy, make it easy for them. So please go ahead and slice up the apples, the pears, the oranges into little finger friendly pieces. We know the kids are more apt to do it. And a great little tip, um, if you do that, which you should, go ahead and get a little lemon juice and you can even buy the, you know, the, the, you don't have to always use fresh, the kind that's in that little plastic lemon and spritz a little bit of that in quickly over the fruit that you've sliced it will keep it crisp and fresh so when they go to eat it four hours later it's still nice and bright and white and not brown at all right the fourth thing to remember as far as healthy lunchbox tips or helpful lunchbox tips is that you know kids love fun containers so why not put some raisins or other dried fruit or nuts in an Altoid container or take them to the dollar store. Dollar store has this, tons of different cool containers that uh, fit well into a lunch box and let them pick them out, right? The next thing is know that kids are sensitive to the presentation of food. No question about it. So you want to get more fruits and veggies in them. Why not make a fruit or a veggie kebab? You can get little wooden skewers and you know, thread on a variety of different fruits and a variety of different vegetables. Of course, be sure to pop off those sharp ends. And think about it, wouldn't you like to open up your lunchbox and see that? Wouldn't that be exciting, right? Versus just seeing an apple sitting there, right? So keep things lively. And lastly, um, you know what? Keep the junk foods out because if it's not there, it's not an option. How obvious is that one, right? And remember, as parents, you play the star role in providing your kids healthy foods. For ICU, this is Dr. Ann.